It's a great guy. He, he never, never hurt anybody. Victoria Damien says her brother-in-law unraveled after his wife died in 2016. He accepted it for a while, but then slowly, slowly just kept on saying she was alive. She says Ismail believed his church was holding her captive. Victoria called Phoenix police to get him to a psychiatric facility. By the time we got the petition done for them to go pick him up, he left to work. The following weekend, he was arrested at home, accused of saying he was going to shoot people in the North Valley Romanian Pentecostal Church. The phone call ended up validating direct threats of his intentions to harm those at the church. When they took him into custody, he was found to be in possession of a handgun. The sheriff's office says it acted on a tip provided by a church member who is also a Maricopa County Sheriff's posse member. Do you believe Ismail would have ever been capable of firing in that church? Him himself, no, no. But his schizophrenia, maybe. I think that they should have looked at his records that he has psychological issues. I don't think they should have booked him in jail to say that he's a criminal and wanted to do bad stuff. If he's not mentally ill, he's a wonderful guy. He took care of his kids, he gave them everything. He's not a monster. He's not a monster.